If you've ever wanted a function to output some value, you've probably come across return statements in Python. In the next couple of minutes, I want to talk about return statements, yield statements, and what the difference between both of them is. Since return statements are more frequently used and easier to understand, we're going to start off with them first. So in general, you use return statements in functions whenever you want to give the function the ability to return some sort of value. I think that the best way to understand this is by looking at an easy example. So over here, I've defined the function return example, which has an empty numbers list that gets filled with the numbers one, through to five with this for loop over here. Now I do want to emphasize that the numbers list is only filled with the numbers one through to five, even though the range that we are iterating through is one to six, because when we use this range, it is not inclusive of the last number over here. And once the numbers are filled into the numbers list, the function returns this list to us. And since this function is returning the list of numbers to us, it should be no surprise that if we call the function and print out its type, as we're doing over here, you get the console output list. Let me show you one more thing. If we decide to remove the return statement from the function and then execute the same code snippet, you will see in the console output, it now says none type. Now, why does it say none type? That is because the function that we're executing isn't giving us any output anymore because the return statement was removed. And what is the type of nothing? Well, it's none. And that is why we get none type in the console output. But now let's put the return statement back into the function and simply print out a call to the function. You can now see that in the console output, it gives us the list filled with the numbers one through to five. And that is because we're simply printing out whatever is being returned by the function that we're calling, which is the return example function. There are two more characteristics of return statements that I want you to be aware of. The first one is that whenever we have a return statement, any code that is written below the return statement within a function does not get executed because as soon as we reach the return statement within the function, the execution of the function stops. So in this example, which I have up right now, you can see exactly the same function that I had a moment ago, but I also included a print statement right below the return statement. Now, if I go ahead and print the um, call to the function return example, you can see that it only returns the numbers list but it does not print out hello. And that is because this code over here below the return statement is not reachable. And that is also why it is being highlighted in yellow over here. If I hover over it, you can see that it even says this code is unreachable. The second thing that I want you to know is that when you have a return statement, it can only return one result. To see what I mean by that, look at the following example. Over here I have the return example function again. And in this function, I have a numbers list with the numbers one, two, and three. I have the numbers dictionary, which has a few dictionary entries, and I have a string that says some random text. Now, if I return all three of these results, they get put into one tuple. So let's go ahead and execute the two print statements that give me the type of the return statement and also print out the output you can see over here that I have a tuple because all these individual returns are being put into one large tuple. And you can also see it below in the uh, printed output because we have these rounded brackets at the very end around all of the three results. So around the numbers list, the numbers dictionary in the middle, and the text at the very end. Now let's move on to yield statements within functions. Yield statements allow us to return intermediate values when the function runs. Let's take a look at an easy example to understand what I mean by that. Over here, I've defined the function yield example, and it has a for loop. And within this for loop, we are simply yielding the value of i. At the very end, I've also added a print statement that prints out the word finished. The first thing to note is that in contrast to return statements, the code that comes after a yield statement is in fact executed. We're going to continue by doing two things. First off, we're going to 
call the function, yield example, and then print out the type. And in addition to that, we're simply going to print a call to the function and see what we get. The first line in the console output tells us that the return of the function yield example is a generator. The first thing that we learn from this is that whenever we add a yield statement to a function, we get something called a generator function. Generator functions are special because they return something that we call generator objects. And that is exactly what you can see from the second line in the Python console. Generator objects are similar to lists, dictionaries, and tuples because they can also be iterated over. So if we want to see the values that are in the generator object created by the yield example function, we can simply write a for loop such as for i in yield example and then print i. And if we go ahead and execute that, you can see in the console output, it prints the numbers one through five, and at the very end, it prints the string finished. So as you can see from this example, the yield statement actually allows us to retrieve interim results from this function during the execution of the function. This result would not have been possible if we had used a return statement, because remember, the return statement exits the function immediately once it has reached the very first time. So getting interim results of the function is not possible with return. The final thing that I want to do is give you a brief summary of the key differences between yield and return. So first off, when we have return statements in function, the execution of the function stops when a return statement is reached. Now with yield statements, that is not the case. Yield statements allow you to get interim results within a function execution because the yield statement simply interrupts, but it doesn't stop the execution. Now to the next point, code that comes after a yield or return statement. With return statements, the code that comes after a return statement is not accessible, so it won't execute. With yield statements, the code after a yield statement is accessible and will be executed. The third point concerns the output. With a return statement, you only have one output, whereas with yield statements, you have interim results, and there can be multiple of these. And the final thing that you should keep in mind is that functions that contain a yield statement are called generators, and these generator functions return iterable generator objects that we can iterate through as we do with lists, tuples, sets, or dictionaries.